Welcome back to Adventure WA guys. Today, I'm out here yabby hunting. So I haven't tried this down before. Apparently it's got some yabbies in there. So I thought we'd give it a go. The weather's looking pretty shit. So I thought I was gonna go camping this weekend. I thought, well, to do some yabby hunting instead. So what we're gonna use today are these black opera house nets. And once again, open top lift nets. So for bait today, Going on the old sardines again, because they proved to be a winner last time. And the old chicken carcasses. So that should put a lot of scent in the water. So here's the dam where I'm fishing. Like I said, I haven't yabbied in this dam before. So hopefully there's a couple left for me. And if we get some, we'll do a bit of a catch and cook. Probably do a beer battered yabby wrap with salad. So look forward to that. It is lunchtime now, so let's get those nets in the water. See if we can get some yabbies. All right, let's bait those nets up. Go the old open top lift nets first. Trusty cable ties. Put a couple of sardines in these ones. We're half sardines and half chicken bodies. There we go, let's get it in. I don't know how deep this dam is, so we'll soon see. Nice, nice and deep. All right, next one. The old chicken carcass. You don't need to spend big money to catch yabbies. These nets are only 13 bucks from Kmart. And the chicken carcasses, $3 for four carcasses. Beautiful, ready to go. Alrighty, net number two can go here. Oh, beautiful. Alright, this spot here, number three. I'm a bit excited about this spot, got a good feeling. So, here's where I'm going. As I proved in the last videos, the big ones seem to be out the little river mouths. So, I'll chuck him in there. Hope for the best. Let's get him in there. It's only about a meter deep, but you don't need very deep for yabbies. They do live in the mud. They are bottom feeders. Woo! All right, let's get some more nets in. Alrighty, net number four with the sardines. Go out here. I reckon we'll just get two more nets here. It's a bit shallower on this side, so I don't know how they're gonna go. But we'll soon see. Like I said, we got two more nets out, then I reckon we wait about half an hour. I'm gonna try away half an hour. No impatient checks. I hope. All right, let's get them in. Number five, open top lift net with the chicken carcass. 
Oh yeah. Got a good feeling feeling about this dam. Look down here. The Abbey claws. The Abbey legs. More claws there. Oh yeah, there's the Abbey's in here. We're gonna get some. The Abbey wraps, here we come. All right, net five or six, one of them. Opera house net with the chicken. They can go out here. All right, guys, I'll try to give them half an hour and we'll check those nets. And I hope we get some nice, tasty yabbies. Do a bit of a cook up for lunch. Oh, I love this stuff. Alrighty, see you in half an hour. It's been 30 minutes. Let's hope we get some. First pull. <laughs> There's yabbies in here. They're not the biggest. So we'll pick out the bigger ones and we'll chuck the rest back. It's a bloody good sign. <laughs> so many. I will tip them out. We'll just keep ones about that size, I reckon. Definitely no shortage of yabbies in here. So I'm probably only going to keep 10 out of this one since we've got a fair few nets to check. And I don't think we'll have a problem getting all the yabbies. How good was that, guys? First pull. There's probably about 30, 40 abbeys in there, but we only kept 10, so let's check the second one. Look at all those yabbies. <laughs> That's on the chicken frame. They love it. All right, let's pick the biggest ones out. Chuck the rest back. This one's got some big ones. Look at that. Look at that one. If we can get a bunch of them, that'd be good. Oh, right, we'll tip these out, go through them. Whew. There you go. So we probably kept about 15 out of that one. Nice, decent sized yabbies. Oh, and we're only two nets in. Oh, we'll check the other ones, then we'll do a bit of a cook up. Woo! Alrighty, net number three, the one at the river. Oh. Look at all those yabbies. It's gonna be over a hundred in there. We have hit the jackpot. All right, getting it back in. <laughs> Three. 
three nets. Heaps of decent sized yabbies. Ah, things are looking good. All right, let's keep checking them. And then we'll do the cook up. This is the last net we put in, the um, Black Opera House net. See how that goes. Couple of nice ones in here. Nice size yabbies. Woo! Run home, little yabbies. Another half full net. <laughs> now I'm going to chuck all these back. We're getting back out there, try to get some bigger ones. Alright, this is the lucky last net, and then we'll cook them up. It's like we're in yabby heaven here. Well, they're still at stone up. Well, then we'll go ahead and chuck all these back too. Well guys, how was that for a first pull? Oh, I'm just happy. I reckon we've got probably 50 yabbies in here and I'll chuck probably hundreds back. So, definitely no shortage of yabbies in this dam. What we're gonna do now, be about some of these yabbies, I'll show you how that's done, and then have um, a yabby wrap. So, let's get to the car, cook these yabbies up. How good's this place? So many birds, heaps of wildlife. When I first got here, there's probably oh, 200 ducks on this dam. If only you're allowed to hunt ducks here. But you're not. So let's get cooking. All right guys, first thing we gotta do I've got a little 360 degrees cooker, little butane cooker. Like that, so that'd be perfect. All you need is some oil, and I also have a 360 degrees little pot. So we'll whack that on there. Get some oil in the pot. Earn it enough just to cover the yabbies. And we'll get that boiling. And then I'll show you the rest. Well, that's boiling, we'll make the batter. So all you need is a plate. I'll move this out of the way. A plate, about a cup of self-raising flour. And it's a beer, beer of your choice. So me, I'm going the old export, the old bush took. So we'll pour that in there. We'll give her a bit of a mix. You kind of want like a a runny paste, just so you can soak them in there. Give that a nice good stir. Get that flour really mixed through. You don't want it too gluggy. Now 
Now I like to add a few spices in there too. So I've got all-purpose seasoning. Bang a, bit of, bang a bit of that in there. Just gives us that extra bit of flavour. Alrighty, now that's the kind of consistency you want. Like that. I'll keep mixing it, it's a little bit lumpy. But like that, that's what you want. All right, let's keep mixing. I'll get prepare these yabbies. All right, so I've got 15 yabbies here, 15 yabby tails that I have humanely killed. So what you want to do is pull the heads off, and then on the back corn, back of their tail here, the centre, you got this little bit that hangs up, right where their bum is, like that. So what you want to do is rock that side to side, boom, boom, like that. And then the poo, tu poo tube comes straight out. There you go. And then, just want to peel it like a prawn. Get all the shell off. So you're left with the tail. With no shell. Just the meat. Just like that. So what you want to do, whack it in your batter. So we'll get all these done, chuck them all in the batter, and by that time the oil should be ready to go. Oh, then we'll make the wrap. All right guys, the yabbies are in the batter. Let's get them in the oil. as is. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good. Alrighty, the Yabby's been in for about five minutes. They're getting gold and crispy brown now. How's that? Oh, smell that. Oh. All right, get these out. Get it, get the rest in there. That's it. Alrighty, while that's boiling, I'll get the rest of the stuff ready. So what we need. Got some salad. Got the old cucumber, tomato, and the old red onion. So we'll get them. What else we got in here? Yep. Baby spinach. And wraps. Alrighty, got the wrap. I'm gonna go a bit of bit of green stuff. Bit of cucumber. A few slices of cucumber. Bang that on there. Tomato. Can't have wraps without tomatoes. Last but not least, red onion. Now, these should be done. Nice and golden brown. Let that cool down. How's that? <laughs> it's like a beer battered prawn. Here's a cool one, this one. Wow. Very unhealthy. 
but delicious. All right, what are we missing? Mayo. Where's mayo? Our secret sauce, Kewpie Mayo. Get that on there. There we go. Check this out, guys. Well, there you go, guys. From the dam to the plate. Uh -huh. Let's give this thing a taste tester. <laughs> I think I'm onto a winner here. Mm hmm. You guys have to give this a go. Mm. Really guys, it's that simple to do, chuck a couple of nets in, a bit of chicken and a bit of um, sardines, pull them up, cook them up, it's got a wicked feed. Alright guys, lucky last pull. How good is this? <laughs> There's well over a hundred in here. We have hit the jackpot. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go again. Net number two. See if this one's full. Feels bloody heavy. Really? Listen to that. Jackpot once again. Chuck all these guys back. Alrighty, let's try again. Net number three. Once again, very heavy. Lots of yabbies, I can see. I reckon we'll pick a couple of big ones out of here and we'll go to the other nets. Alrighty, third last net. Feels bloody heavy. Once again. Another full net. Well, there's a couple of biggies in here. I'll grab them out, chuck the rest back. How's this? Nice size yabbies. Perfect eating size. Oh, so cool. Love it. favourite one, the river mouth. Hopefully there's some big ones in here. This is becoming very common. <laughs> Alright, let's not throw these. Alright guys, lucky last net. The black opera house net. I wonder if we got any in there. Once again, heaps. All right, grab a couple out of there, out of here. Chuck the rest back. Well guys, 
that's it done for the day how was that for a little yabby adventure oh, hundreds of yabbies in each net every pool only pulled the nets twice good little cook up had some lunch so this is what i took home i'll just show you took some home for the kids and the neighbor but there's definitely no shortage of yabbies in this dam how's that good size yabbies oh If you haven't quite, um, if you couldn't tell, yabbies are my favourite thing on earth. Love catching yabbies. It's great fun. Kids love it. Everyone loves it. So if you can, if you can get out there, catch some yabbies, try cooking them up different ways and um, yeah, you'll love it. So please, if you're into this kind of stuff, yabbying, fishing, camping, four wheel drives, motorbikes, bush cooking, everything, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next adventure. See ya.